Right, today we'll be learning solving one-step equations. Okay, so first we have to realize what does this word mean if I ask you to solve an equation? Figure out. Figure out. So if I say solve, then that means we want to find the solution or value that makes to find the solution or value that makes an equation true. So for example, if I say x plus 5 equals 12. Most of you could solve that in your head. Right? So this is an equation. We know it's an equation because there's an equal sign. So we're going to solve this equation. <coughs> So what does solve mean? We want to find the solution or the value that makes this equation true. So that means left side equals right side. So a number plus 5 is 12. What number? 7. 7. Right? So we already just kind of know that x is 7. Why? Because 7 plus 5 is 12. So if we're going to work backwards, right? And most of you remember this from junior high. So if we had a number and we added 5 to it and got 12, well, what was that number before we added 5? So we had to work backwards and subtract 5. So if we subtract 5 on the left, we have to subtract 5 on the right. 5 minus 5 is 0. This is gone, so we're left with x. And 12 minus 5 is 7. That's it. We call those one-step equations because we solved it. We've got the answer in one step. We just subtract five, you got it. Questions on that? No. Good. What if it was subtraction? What if I had x minus 3 equals 10? Someone says 7. So if I put 7, what's 7 minus 3? No. 4. 4 equals 10. Oh, so it's not 7. 13. Right? It would be 13. So if you're trying to solve these in your head mentally, be careful. Okay. The safe way, right, the algebraic way would be to always do the opposite. Okay. So if this is subtraction, then we need to do addition. We always do the inverse. The opposite. So if we subtracted 3 to work backwards, the inverse, the opposite would be to add 3. We have to add 3 on both sides. So that gives us x is 13. Okay. So when it was addition, we subtracted. When it's subtraction, we add. What do you think we do if it's multiplied? <laughs> what if it's a multiplication? We divide it. We divide it, right? The inverse of multiplication is division. So because this is a multiplication problem, we would divide. So x is going to be Just like that. Questions on that? But aren't you supposed to divide it with a negative? Aren't we supposed to divide with the negative? Because mm -hmm. you're doing the opposite? We did do the opposite. So this is 4 times x, and we're solving for x. So that means I want to get rid of the 4, cancel the 4 out. So I just have an x. So 4 times what number is 20? 5. So 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Okay, so we wouldn't divide by the negative 20, we would divide by 4. Always trying to isolate the x. And you see these divide into a 1. Okay, that's a good question. 
So then that takes us to the next one, the last one. What if it's a division problem? What's the inverse of division? Multiplication. Multiplication. Very good. We're going to multiply. So number divided by 2 is 5. What number was it? 10. 10. That's it. Okay. So the big secret here is to do what? There's the big secret. Use the inverse operation. So if we're subtracting, you're going to add. If you're adding, you're going to subtract. If you're multiplying, you're going to and if you're dividing, you're going to multiply. And that's it. Simple.